Godzilla Minus One Theater Review I poked fun at the trailer for this movie, but I wanted to say that you should see this movie while it is in theaters. This film had a lack of local advertising in America, except on YouTube. I can say that this is easily the best live-action Japanese movie I have ever seen, except, of course, The Seven Samurai. Nothing can top The Seven Samurai. The water sequences were really well done. You could see the whites of Godzilla's eyes. The minesweeper ship sequence was thrilling, and you hoped the human sailors had a chance at surviving their encounter, however slim the odds were. This was the best sequence of the movie, setting up the conflict and providing moments of surprising humor. The band of heroes really worked well as sidekicks to the main star, a failed kamikaze pilot. The oddities of the movie may be the result of editing cuts. Why have a detachment of six men on a remote island whose job it is to repair kamikazes? How much were they needed in that conflict? The biggest flaw in the movie is that it reflects how the past 70 years of Japanese schools have taught their children in every generation that World War II was caused by general militancy in the world. Thus, the war imagery of suffering in post-war Tokyo, while sad, omits the fact that all of the suffering of Japan's population was entirely their own fault. Japan's conduct in the war was not an accident, and their testing of samurai swords on defenseless prisoners of war and civilians is well documented. This is not the background to base a fun popcorn movie around, at least not honestly. The story is predictable. The heroine of the movie runs in the direction that Godzilla is heading along with the rest of the populace, when any sane person would head left or right from his route. Godzilla in this film is the wrath of nature for mankind's folly of tampering with fundamental atomic forces. Maybe he was looking for Oppenheimer to stomp on. Japan is left to fight Godzilla alone and to come up with a solution that will end the threat for now, but permit more sequels. I wish I could say what the ending of the film was, but my two daughters were louder than Godzilla and we were asked to leave the theater. By the way, to the movie patron who complained about my noisy children, the whole movie was subtitled. The human story is always the worst part of a Godzilla or Mothra movie. Yet these characters, the people in the film, really make you feel for them and hope that they can survive the natural disaster that is Gojira. I still feel that the regenerative attributes of the new Godzilla are too similar to Wolverine and the Weapon X program and I would still prefer to see the classic actor in his rubber Godzilla costume. A human being conveys emotion better than any computer-generated character. See the movie for the thrills, believe in the power of humanity, and cheer as you hear that Godzilla roar and the original 1950s theme song. Godzilla is back. Go see it.